it feels good sometimes, but it gets kind of annoying because it's like I don't even remember what that boss looked like. That was that was disappointing. And I don't know. I just uh, I don't like it. Ah, water is delicious. Uncle, Hydration is essential, kids. Thanks to you. Especially when you're in a friend. desert like I am. Now, granted, I'm in like a super watered, you know, what using you all know the state's water star. desert right now. But I Not just came from Antarctica, which is, you know, the, the driest day. desert on the Surely planet. And also the coldest. And when I was down there, I mean, the there's no humidity. Begun. There's no real Please, Uncle, liquid you anywhere. You can't really eat ice that dehydrates you. Um... But there's plenty of water around because they, you know, desalinate water down there for you to drink. And um, I would put down between two and three gallons a day uh, just to stay properly hydrated. And, and it, uh, you feel great when you do that. So drink water, kids. Drink it. Drink your water. Finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to this land once again. Delicious. A tragic story, but I cannot reach the fallen star until I face him. The key to I like that all the characters are voiced in this game. You don't run into any tech stuff. Even even the text stuff, like like stuff uh, like books and stuff you pick up out in the world, are voiced, um, which really helps you focus on the game, but still lets you lets you get the backstory in the game, which is super cool, super de duper. All right, so we gotta go kill this guy's wife, OJ. Blacksmith. Deckard Kane said you could help me find the Man. crown of Leoric. Not now. This is all the all the goddamn the characters you play as in this game are actually I'm super cool. Um, my favorite, life. hands down, is the Sometimes damn witch doctor. The uh, the witch doctor's got all sorts of you. awesome, crazy. Follow me. I wouldn't say vaguely racist, but like, this work if he yeah. But he's got, I mean, the second main skill you unlock, he throws jars of poisonous spiders at enemies. I mean, how fucking cool is that? It's just awesome. I mean, it's like, here, I've got this guy, he's, he's throwing spiders at people. Um, he's kind of a remix on the Necromancer from the second game, which is my favorite class in that game. Um... Simply because you could summon, like, 40 to 50, you know, skeletons and minions and just run around and have them do all the work for you while you cast, like, like damage buff, fe um, uh, fear effects, and hexes and stuff like that, which is really cool. Or curses, I guess, for the necromancer. The witch doctor has hexes. So he doesn't get as many um, uh, summon creatures that he can carry or bring along with him. There's certain skills you get that allow you to basically keep rotating and keep a high number, like 10 or 11. Uh, nowhere near the, the, you know, 30 to 50 you could get in the other game. But um, still pretty cool. And um, one of them's dogs. You can use the dogs um, in two ways. You can use them. I basically use them to block while I do, like, grenade attacks and stuff like that, which is really cool. But there's a there's a skill you get called sacrifice that the witch doctor can use where you blow I'm up the dogs, and My name is Hedrig I I don't know I just find that funny as hell and every time I do it I just I feel like screaming Michael Vick every time I blow up the dogs which is kind of fucked up because Michael Vick is a bastard who probably shouldn't have a professional career anymore after you know basically torturing and killing dogs for several years, but I don't know. I just, I find sarcasm in, in making fun of people who are supposed to be, you know, pinnacles of modern culture, like sports athletes and stuff like that. Like the whole, fuck the whole NFL, dude. The whole NFL is just a bunch of, you know, rapists and, and womanizers and wife-beating assholes and, I mean, child molesters. I mean, people forget Ben Roethlisberger allegedly and... I'm saying allegedly because I don't remember if they proved it or not. Banged a bunch of like 14-year-old girls. And people are just totally cool with him now. They're just like, oh, hey, bro, no, no, no big deal. I mean, those kids are scarred for life and you did a, a reprehensible thing. But uh, whatever, I mean, scoring them touchdowns. And with the whole, with the whole wife-beating debacle uh, that happened last season in the NFL, I mean, it's just like, what? Why, why are we giving these people tons of money? 
it's just it makes no sense to me that that people like that are able to hold a, a you know public life and I mean they do they I would say they do as much harm oh geez these guys are molten up here I would say they do as much harm as they do good for the world I mean, it, for as many kids as you inspire to be better than themselves by playing sports or shit, ooh, or whatever. There we go. As many kids as you do that, there's still people who, who are going to see the way you act and the way you act in your public life and just be like, oh, well, I guess I can act like that too. It just makes no sense. Oh, shit. I dashed maybe a bit too soon there. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, there we go. Boop. I'm running with two uh, hand crossbows right now just because I wanted to. Um, it seems like even though this character is kind of designed to play uh, a two-hand role, uh, they really designed the characters to be the demon hunters to do a lot more damage with uh, a weapon in their main hand or a two-handed weapon. Oh, Jesus. I've completely forgotten what buttons I'm trying to press. They kind of designed them ar around using a main hand weapon and a, and a quiver, which is kind of like a substitute for a shield and just basically adds stats. Um, which is kind of annoying because I want to be, you know, the character sitting there just, you know, dual fisting. Dual fisting, Jesus Christ. Um, dual wielding these friggin' hand crossbows, because it looks awesome. Ah, run away! It's done. There we go. Have we got anything, any other good shit for the follower? No, we do not. not for the time being, anyways. Ah. This game is a great, like, chillax game, too. I love I love playing Blizzard games on PC. They're a lot of fun. Like StarCraft is amazing. Uh, StarCraft 2 as well. Um, but I don't know something about being able to play a game like Diablo, just like chill, sat back on your couch and just kind of relaxing. Like it's a great like after a shitty day of work game. There aren't many of those. It seems like... And the fact that it's like all co-op multiplayer is really badass as well. I mean, I don't know. I feel like the majority of, of multiplayer games nowadays, even the co-op ones, are kind of designed around... Oh, Jesus. I was standing in that for way too long. Kind of designed around, you know, dealing with a stress level and then the reward from dealing with that stress level afterwards. Um... I, I bring, you know, Call of Duty and, and any shooter to mind uh, when I talk like or talk about that. And this one is just like sit back and, you know, kill some demons, man. You know, it's all good. Like, I feel like this game is a game that the big Lebowski, the dude, would play after, you know, a hard day of bowling. <laughs> and staring at Julianne Moore's fire crotch. Stay in school, eat your teeth? Oh. Because I, I did the whole drink your fucking water PSA. Tony, you bastard. Yeah, blow him up. Yeah, the kind of gimmicky stuff to a lot of the enemies in this game are super cool. And they had gimmicks like that in the, ori in the original Diablo and Diablo 2. Um, probably the, the one that would come to mind first for people who played Diablo 2 would be the Fallen and the Fallen Shamans, who are little imp enemies. That The Fallen are little imp enemies that, that run around, and you fight them later in this game. But they have Fallen Shamans that shoot fireballs, but their main thing is that they... they uh, can resurrect the regular fallen. So if you don't take care of the fallen shaman, they're gonna keep respawning the same guys you've been killing. 
uh, which is a cool gameplay mechanic um, that the enemy spawner is also an enemy. I know in, in a lot of top-down beat-em-up games, like the old Gauntlet games, you would have enemy spawners, and they would just be, like, mines and stuff like that, which is, you know, a cool game design as well. But, I mean, that got old after a while, and a lot of a lot of games did that. There's even some stuff like that in this game as well, where there'll be, like, a, a pile of bodies, and that's your enemy spawner. Uh, oh, Jesus. There we Not go. Hatred. But just having like a movie and a moving enemy spawner that doesn't spawn additional enemies but creates new enemies was kind of I think it was a really cool and original idea. And I'm sure someone's gonna correct me in the in the chat and say, "Oh, well, there there's a million other games that do it. It wasn't the game to innovate this." Blah 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 blah. You're an asshole. And okay, cool, whatever, bro. I mean, drop it. I'm just saying that I like it. Boop. Man, the rapid fire in this is great. I can't wait till I can get the, the droppable sentry guns that drop like shields and stuff. Um, the original Diablo 3, when I played through it, I played through it with uh, my buddy Tony, uh, who's currently attempting to troll me in the chat. And um, I played through as the Witch Doctor, and he played through as a Demon Hunter. And I was just, the, the move set for the Demon Hunter was so goddamn cool. There was times I was almost jealous, because it's just like, here's this awesome guy, and he can, you know, basically he's set up at the, towards the end of the game so that if you stand still in one position far away enough from the enemy in one of your traps, your, your critical hit chance and your critical hit damage, like, jumps up like 20 times what it normally is, which is so fucking cool, because if you're playing a co-op game, um, you can basically sit back and, and snipe people from afar doing ridiculous amounts of damage, um, while, uh, while your buddies basically keep the enemies off you. And that was one of the really fun things about playing through it originally, I guess, when we had picked that, that, uh, the word I'm looking for. When we had picked that that grouping of me with the witch doctor and him with the damn uh, demon hunter, it was one of the better uh, better uh, duos to pick for co-op because they're basically. I read something about it somewhere. I can't remember where it was, but basically, since you have so many pets as a witch doctor, you can use them to block for the for the demon hunter who can sit back and do crazy amounts of damage. And I mean that's kind of how that's kind of how our gameplay uh, sessions kind of went down to after a while, and it was so cool because I mean you just you know there's so many different ways you can complement each uh, each character in co-op. Hey, level 19, we getting levels, son. I unlocked an active skill category. What did I unlock? Right bumper. Strafe. Shoot at nearby enemies while moving. That's cool. We got more skills here. We got tons of new skill sets. Caltrops. Increase the slowing effect. Immobilize enemies caught in the trap. I like that. We got. We got a new. I've been using that. Enemies were rapid fire. Chill. There's another another slowing effect. That's friggin' awesome. I love it. Look at that. Am I? Blue rapid fire of murder death. Death and explosion kill. Oh, that was a bad idea. Run away! Run away! They're coming for us! There we go. Um, in the original game, they had um, Nephilim buffs you could get, uh, which is kind of a story mechanic, because the Nephilim are basically like superhumans. Um, yeah, anyways, you got these Nephilim buffs, and they would stack. In this game, there's only one. Whenever you pick up a new orb, it basically increases the amount of time you have it, and it gives you almost all of the effects of the old Nephilim buffs. It doubles your damage. Uh, your attacks have a chance to streak lightning from uh, one enemy to another, um, and then, so, uh, like, increase like, gold find chances and stuff like that. It was really cool. Um, and the remix in this one, although I didn't like it initially, I, I actually think I like a lot better now. Um, especially with the adventure mode and the way it's designed in that. Um, 
because they basically kind of switched 